Oh, this is the first video that Tom Fick gave us on live for the Chinese version of uh, Lovely Ten Cards for Open World and PS games. And I will dub it into English and uh, let you to understand his thoughts behind uh, this making of this course. The reason we developed this course is because many Chinese students and uh, uh, worldwide students ask us to give us uh, a more uh, advanced course about level design. Not only the showing the whole process of art creation. So we uh, decided to invite Chang Fei. He has a lot of experience. He has done the concept art before and the level design artist. And then he became a lead artist for two years. He has uh, experienced many game times, so we decided to invite him to give us this uh, course. And the City Talk version, Chinese version, uh, is on citytalk.com. And uh, this plan is a 19 uh, week plan. The first 15 weeks, we released uh, several videos each week and give a live stream at the end of the week. And the last four weeks, we just uh, tutoring students to finish their jobs. And the art station version is a little different. Uh, we have two tiers, uh, recording only, and a 16-week uh, email feedback. Uh, because Tung Fei himself, himself do not have the time to learn English and communicate live. So I am doing all the translation for you. Okay, let's find out what Tang Fei say at this day. It's an introduction. All right, it's really that the modern has invited me several times. The first time is the last December. I gave you the first lecture on here. They already invited me at that time, but I've been rather busy on my side, including I'm doing the two cases for you in this course. It took me a very long time because I often see the problems in my work. I want to improve them, so it's not that fast. There are four parts in this introduction video. First, course content. Two, course characteristics. Three, example projects explanation. Four, study goals. So let's begin the first part, the course content. I will explain all the things in this course. Uh, let's see this uh, screenshot. It is the content of my course. And the first I want you to know is the current market in China situation. And what about a uh, uh, level artist job should do, what it should do at, that, at this time. So you can learn from this process of the real R&D process of the game. And the more, most core of this is the aesthetic uh, series in, in this uh, level design. Okay, all the 3D softwares, the engine are all tools. You should have understand the series behind the tools. Tools are not that important. And then I will show you the two cases I made uh, for the FPS map and open world map to explain how to make a level from 0 to 1. For training students, I have a whole month counseling you for the whole month. Okay, I think there are five characteristics of this course. The first one is we use Unreal Engine mainly, so you do not need to create your own assets we use as a packs. And the second one is we have five chapters of game aesthetic series. And the third is we have two demonstration maps, open world and FPS. The fourth is sharing work, working experience. The fifth is some career suggestions. So let's take a look at the first one. The first is I remove all the complicated parts of the course uh, because some students may have uh, just learned to love design. They will uh, discourage when they see so many steps. But many newcomers who come in because uh, the things too complicated. So we simplify everything. I will do all the blocking work uh, using Engine, using Unreal Engine uh, modeling tools, and we later use asset packs uh, to help you to finish your design. We do not ask you to do every each step of assets and texture by yourself, which is save the time and uh, let you to do more complicated projects. 
Okay, the second one. The second one is we have very good designed uh, athletic series. So let's take this uh, concept art, uh, uh, for example. This is very famous in China, made by Luo Ke Hou, uh, which in Chinese name means uh, Guixiang, which means coming home. If we have an athletic series um, in behind, when we're uh, recreating this in Unreal Engine, you will feel much easier. Uh, some students in our uh, modern classes already do this uh, art before. We can see uh, there are three students already do done this. But from my view, I see uh, they have some good things from the big points to small points, but I also think they can improve a little bit uh, from the big parts or the small parts. Um, let's see from the whole picture, they all have some problems. And uh, why do they have these kind of problems? Is there a series behind them? I think there are aesthetic theories behind them. You should think about before you do the whole thing. You should think about the color, the details, the structure, the atmosphere, the composition. And all the theories also can apply to uh, the working uh, when you're already a level artist. We always receive some very ordinary concept arts. We're also working for the demand uh, level artist. Is the, I think the, the goalkeeper of the whole environmental art process. Some concept artists may not have that much skill, or the time is really short. So the concept artist is not that very good the structure that is not very clear, and they give you very sketchy uh, art. This places in some places is not painted. So when we do this, the peak. I think I think uh, the other artist should add things to it. At this time, uh, if you have the theoretical uh, thinking, you you can improve uh, the concept art and make it reach the demand of the whole art standard. And the third is let's talk about the two demonstration maps of this uh, course. The first one is the open world. It's uh, Genshin Impact uh, like open world map. And uh, the other one is the FPS map. Um, it has no uh, clear concept art to to do from. Uh, I have the impression of the Venus, and I uh, have been inspired by an old oil painting of Venus, and I started to do this from scratch. And uh, search a lot of things from Google Earth. So the forces, I give you some um, project experience to you. I will go to sort out the, uh, teach people how to do, for example, the whole set of the project process. Uh, who should you do the things uh, later, and how to open the my things, how to make things uh, to meet our requirements. From the perspective of R and D, uh, and how should you actually do things uh, in level ten. And the fifth part, the last part, is the career planning. I think it's still very important for everyone to think about a career, not only to learn the skills, but also think about what you should do, the next steps. Okay, let's talk more about these two projects I made for you. So uh, I think the two cases I see in here, I already released them on ArtStation. You can see my uh, homepage or Modern's homepage. Uh, when I do reach some certain points, I'm going to through, uh, walk through the, the, the thoughts behind it. Uh, the second FPS map is the currently doing uh, the impression finish. And this, I do not have any original painting. It's not finished yet. Uh, the time is so limited. Uh, we just uh, show you a part of it. I'm still improving. And um, there are many detailed problems. Uh, I, will, I will synchronize it them for you. Okay. And this is the last part that we want to talk about today, which is study goals and what you should learn from this course. Also, why we are doing this? Uh, what can you learn from this? I think you can improve your ability and to have some experience of the actual R&D and you can uh, improve your portfolio to help you to get a, a better position. Let's see some questions of you. Okay, the first one. I think the game 
uh, core theory of uh, game and advertising using Unreal Engine is the same. We should be able to keep up with our course. Okay, let's look at the second one. Okay, I think you should have. Uh, I take my resume for example. Uh, when I uh, participate in a project, I will put one uh, project into my portfolio. So I have uh, four, four to five uh, projects uh, in my portfolio. It's a set of pictures, not only one picture. I think you should uh, at least uh, uh, give about three your own projects into your portfolio. It should be a, a three sets of uh, images of your design map. Okay, last one. Can this course help you? Uh, yes. Uh, this course can help you to make your own your own resorts. Uh, if you choose uh, five hundred twenty US dollars here uh, we can help you to give you feedback of your own work creation uh, you can choose either from my example projects you can choose a stylized open world valley to follow that or you make an fps map uh, which in my case is a venice map uh, if you have seen my art station page uh, you should know that uh, I suggest you to have four to five different angle shots of your own map, uh, which is uh, more work than uh, a real engine stylizing course uh, created by Modern. Okay, let's see question number four. Uh, are you still in your work or are you still in college? I think the sooner you're prepared for this, the better. Many of uh, the students, Chinese students, uh, assigned this course are already in their uh, jobs in game industry. Uh, if you're a college student, if you have this idea, uh, you are more advantage than other Chinese students, because many students in China do not have a game design major. They do not uh, what to do if they want to get into the game industry. And uh, I don't know what you're doing. Uh, in my experience, in my second year in college, I already uh, have interned uh, in my uh, in other game companies. Okay. Okay. Uh, next question: Should I make your own assets? I don't think you should do your own assets. We all suggest you that you only use a game engine, maybe with the help of a DCC, and you should find uh, your assets from maybe Bridge, or maybe Amory Marketplace, other asset packs. Because if you do all the assets yourself, it will be too much time for you. Uh, we cannot finish that in 16 weeks, 19 weeks. So you should uh, find other assets to help you. Your main focus should be on the designing, designing uh, phase of of this. Okay, I see some students have a pessimistic view of the uh, hiring situation. It is true that many uh, game companies in China are laying off. I think that's because of the a bigger market of, of Chinese uh, game game is is now developed. But when we will see, we have some uh, trends of uh, making more graphic better games like uh, uh, Wukong. But you know the requirements of game artists are improving higher and higher. I don't know whether you can meet the requirements uh, when the needs are are coming. You should be practicing yourself. Um, we always should be thinking about uh, the things happens in a year or two. You should be always be preparing uh, for the future work. So I think it's the right time to improve your skills, to do better. Uh, 
portfolio things for yourself. If you want to be a lab artist in the future, I'm not doing a lot of substance designer thing in my course. I think you can learn it from a modern stylizing equation course. Uh, if you are pure level artist, I don't think you uh, should know the substance designer back and forth. But you at least you should uh, know how it works and what's the major maybe notes of it, how to audit it. Um, because in many Chinese companies, you should uh, be able to examine uh, the work results of other 3D environment artists, uh, texture artists. You should give them feedback. So you should not know the workflow of a substance designer, but you don't have to master, master it. OK, the final question, uh, how many art style? So I think it depends on your current situation. If you are in early stage of getting a job, I think you should focus on a single art style. If you like Genshin Impact, you want to go to such companies, you just should prepare uh, anime style, stylized scene. Uh, because if a mature group um, of uh, game development they don't have extra time to uh, to educate you to do other art styles. You should just have their art style, which is uh, better for you to finding a job. But if you have uh, more time, uh, more experience, yes, you should be able to do other uh, kinds of art styles. Okay, uh, that's all for this video. Uh, thank you for watching.